India has always been a source of inspiration for Crispian. At the age of 18, he made his first pilgrimage to what he now considers to be his spiritual home. That first trip, I went, you know, from the Himalayas down to the south and, and back again, and I managed to do it in 10 weeks. I was about 19, and I did it on my own, and it was a pretty formative, pretty scary, hairy experience at times. I met a holy master, somebody, you know, who lived in the jungle, you know, came out only once in a while, and, um, you know, it's a real thing. Over here, we're so cynical, we think it doesn't exist. You meet people who really are living that life. Uh, there's, nothing, there's nothing to compare to it. And it wasn't I did one trip and that was it. I kept going back. It was, became a second, a second home. And, and I went back just up before the second album to uh, shoot some footage for a documentary. There's um, a lot of uh, evidence to, to show that it's, a, it's you know, one of the most ancient civilizations on the planet and you know we in our in our schools we go on a lot about Egypt and you know Egypt but that was where it all started and blah 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 and I mean you know they always uh, for some reason they always miss out India I think it's something to do with the fact that we were the the, the, the colonial empire there and when you know when the British go anywhere like any empire they say you were all a bunch of savages till we turned up the old tradition of having a, an advisor or a spiritual mentor or a guru is that the guru has understood a teaching and a philosophy that has been protected by a line, a, a succession of teachers. And the teacher never changes that teaching. He's, he's protecting it. Uh, for instance, the teacher that I, um, that I study under, he... he um, he has a teacher, and his teacher has a teacher, and that te and it goes back, and um, you can see the philosophical conclusions that they are protecting. As well as studying Eastern philosophy and mysticism, Crispian absorbed himself in traditional Indian music. I learned a great respect for Indian classical music because its roots go back so far into the past that they really can't trace it. And they still use a method and a mode of tuning that uh, you know, hasn't changed for thousands of years. The ancient kind of spirituality is still so uh, so sort of intertwined with the with the musical tradition that uh, if you tried to take the spiritual tradition out of it, then you really wouldn't have anything left.